Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival. Season 7, episode 29, I want to say. In today's episode, we're going to be some, doing some finishing touches on this area of the map here. Um, one being, I need to finish out this sugarcane farm. You know, I can only go as fast as the pumpkins grow, literally, <laughs> because I'm putting jack-o'-lanterns and then wool on top of the water here so <laughs> I've got a few plants over there and I mean I guess I could expand them but you know I'm I don't have any problem with going this slow trying to uh, finish this thing and then the other thing is I want to connect the base right here that goes you know down and whatever I want to connect that to the village, which would then, in theory, connect it to the other base. And I want to finish, or not finish, but try and make it so <laughs> all that work that we put into that very complicated redstone switch thing doesn't go to waste and we can make it somewhat functional. It obviously won't be as good as we had hoped due to chunks loading and unloading and whatnot, but I think we can salvage it to make it pretty functional if, if you understand what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> so we're going to work on that today, but first let's do some villager trading, why don't we? We've got this village here for a reason, so let's just hop down here and uh, see if we can get some good old paper trades. Uh, that's what that farm's for, and that's what this village is for. Unfortunately, <laughs> we kind of utilized all the village trades. We don't have much to gain out of emeralds other than emeralds being cool. I would like to get some different ones. Uh, here's the guy I'm looking for. How long are you going to go before you get burnt out, though? That's the question. There you go. Do you get happy? You do get happy. Oh, he's definitely not going to be happy after that, are you? Oh, there he goes again. That's that's a pretty good streak. Sounds like we got a thunderstorm overhead. Oh, that is not a good streak. And he did it again. Swell. And that's all that is. But 60 emeralds. That's uh, I'm not sure what we started with, but that's definitely not bad. Um, This guy here. Oh, he disappeared. Purple guy here. 37 for that. Um... I wish there was a diamond for this one. But 37 rotten flesh for an emerald. We could definitely manufacture a zombie spawner into an... Not an XP grinder, but maybe just a rotten flesh grinder. We have that one at the stronghold. But unfortunately, I forgot to make the nether portal for that. So, oh, look, see? As fast as the pumpkins grow. That's, uh, that's what's holding me back here. Um, but yeah, I forgot to make the nether portal to that place, so <laughs> we're kind of stuck not being able to go there for a little bit. Um, this is interesting. That should not be like that. Should definitely be blocked off there. But this is what I'm talking about. Oh, that is <laughs> not where I was wanting to go. I want to connect the village to that base and the spider farm... Wherever the entrance, there it is. The spider farm to the base via the villager track, if you know what I mean. Somehow a zombie got in there. This should technically work better because uh, <laughs> I made that not as bright. And uh, we need the string to make the carpet, too, which we have. We definitely have more string back at the base but you get the point so yeah that's, that's just gonna be some of the work I'm gonna do today alright so the first issue we have here is I think we gotta move this up a little bit which is not that much of an issue but we gotta have our control panel so let's tear this down too we gotta have our control panels like we do in the other ones and I think that's gonna be best. Oh, what is this? How important is this? 
I'm not sure what this is, so I don't think it's important. <laughs> Looks like something I never filled in. <laughs> okay. Um, that could be helpful, though. This is a mess. There we go. Okay. So, we have our control panel here. I think we make it bigger than this, don't we? Yeah, let's go one more. Actually, let's go one more this way. Right. Uh-huh. So this will be our control panel. And this will determine where our track goes. Let's put this all back like it was. Because we still got to have the uh, track. Okay. So, basically the design is going to be like the other one. But instead of our third endpoint being the house, because it's out of range, it's going to be here. So, we'll just redirect that. And it should be pretty easy to do. But the f most difficult part, is, I think, is going to be... Um, I have to dig all this out, unfortunately. Oh, that's interesting. That's, uh, noises. It seems like we've got an F-Zero moving over top of our sugarcane farm. Gosh darn it. I bet that's doing damage. Let's go, uh, <laughs> let's go see what this looks like real quick. Oh, it's not looking good outside. This could, uh, this could cause problems. Oh, that was, uh, quite the close call there, wasn't it? Look at that. Just blocks the left there. Yeah, if that had been any more to the right, we definitely would have taken some damage on the sugar cane. What is that, like 10, 15 blocks? Especially from this point, it's not much. Wow, all right. Need to be paying more attention to the radar, it appears. That was, uh, that was, uh, not, a uh, not the good, my friends. All right, so I've been working on this, and my inventory is a disaster. But that's not what I was cutting in to tell you. <laughs> um, so we are—you might get this confused with the other base, but we're in this underground base. And I went ahead and I split the tracks. Um, this one goes home, and for some reason I didn't finish that. It's okay. We can do that. Um, this track goes home, and this is going to be the one that is split between the village and the spider grinder. So, I also dug the tunnel there, and let me tell you, this is a... Uh, well, let me just go ahead and do that. We're going to do that for all of them, but that's okay. Um, hello? Connect? Thank you. Right, so this goes all the way there. Um, and it's essentially a straight shot up. I'll show you here. Um, I don't know where I should do this one. Probably like right here. We're not we're not even going to be efficient here. I don't even care. That connects, and then this will make it right. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, this one doesn't matter. See, you can already hear the villagers. So, I had to go directly up just to make it, but I did make it. Fortunately, it was a close call. Um, here we are. Because it goes from like 20 just to here. Oh, this is not what I was looking for here. Uh, let's get another one of these. I have not touched any of the redstone. <laughs> so I still have that to look forward to. Um, the ride should not be bad at all, right? It should be pretty fast. I still have to build the wooden steeple things. This is probably going to be the main project for the day. Because this is a... Uh, I thought a skeleton was there. What am I, crazy? Jeez, well, these... Let's go ahead and put one of these there. Not there. So, yeah, I haven't done any of the redstone wiring. I'm going to do that right now. And then, uh... 
have to add these to the wiring is going to take probably a couple hours though so I won't record much of it because I kind of like listening to music while I grind this stuff out I'll show you the wiring afterwards though alright so this project has turned into quite the bigger project just like last time when I worked on it I haven't touched this at all I'm trying to figure it out in my head how I want to actually approach this but what I have worked on is I came up to a solution for how this worked so I don't have a minecart on me but basically I removed the panel back at the house and I that's a lot of zombies <laughs> I added this so this stops you it stops you right here and the panels right here and this fully works everyone I tested it <laughs> You know, unloaded the chunk. Chunks don't unload because it's all close together. It works, no problems. But one change is the same redstone line that goes to this light here. See, this line here is continued. So that one goes to power the light, and then this one goes up and around and powers the track so that you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so both these buttons have a line going to the track and send you on your way whenever you hit one of them. But also, there's a line that goes from this light to this track to keep this constantly powered on so that whenever you are leaving from, say, the spider farm, you won't get stopped by these dead tracks. These tracks will be on for five minutes or however long the uh, block stays on in the uh, thing. I'll show you the wiring here but it's pretty nasty. That goes to the light. These two go down. See this one down here. It uh, goes back and forth so if there's a there's a pressure plate right here. If there's a block here it'll collect it. The power is removed from the pressure plate and the track goes back to normal. This button here powers the dispenser. There's a pressure plate in there. All right, yeah, there's the dispenser. There's the pressure plate. Let's just redo that since eventually it's going to run out, but that's not going to be for another 60, 128 usage. And then all this is just the old wiring. So luckily I got quite a bit of redstone back because I removed all the wiring to the old house. By the way, if you look at the mini map here, the tunnels that I've dug are so unbelievably confusing. I've gotten lost down here so many times from this project, but it's all right. We've uh, we finished that part now. But yeah, I, I got the old redstone back because you know it's not needed anymore, and we could use the redstone. So now that I've completed that, I've got to get to what I was actually doing, and I have to uh, do the wiring for this connector right here. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it because. Um, so say I want to go from the house to the other, okay, that's a bad one, that's a bad one, don't, don't ignore that one. Say I want to go from the spider base or the spider farm to the old base, my window's open if you can hear that helicopter by the way, but say I want to go from the spider farm to the, uh, to the old base. Jeez, well, let me close this window. Stupid Fort Knox has been increasing security lately with uh, the whole Iran deal or whatever that's going on. But anyways, say I want to go from the spider base to the old base. Not only do I have to ensure that I'm going to the village, but I also have to ensure that I am going to um, to the base. So this track has to be turned this way, which it is. And this track here has to be turned the other way, which it's not. Whoops. So that would be like that. Oh, that's, oh yeah, yeah, like that. So there you go. <laughs> I got some math to figure out because basically, technically this one right here, we don't have to worry about coming from this way because there's already a track going to the old base from the destination down there so why would we want to worry about this way 
this would just be a weird way going to the old base. But this place right here and that place right there, we have to worry about going to the old base to and from. So that's for me to figure out. Now I'll cut back in when I've completed that. Headaches, I tell you. Headaches. This project gives me headaches. <laughs> I finished this connector right here. So what I did, let me explain it. <laughs> um, I added a third option panel here, right here. You see it used to just be these two and you got two lights telling you so if the light is off you're going to the old base um, the light is currently off so you'll be taking a right and heading to the old base um, if this light is on you're going home so if I hit that light alright both these pop on um, if this light is on here this light will also be on so this will make you take a left and then this is taking a left okay and if you want to go to the spider farm you hit this button and this light turns off but this one stays on so you continue to turn left but instead you turn right uh-huh and finally yeah uh, you go back to the old base you hit that button it'll clear it and you'll turn right now this button here will clear all the lights so if both of these turn on this one will do a fantastic job of clearing both of these. Actually, no, it will not. <laughs> um, but that's fine, because if you're going to the old base, it doesn't matter if that's on over there or not. Because you don't, you don't care what direction this track is pointing, you're going to the old base anyways. Okay. Um, the spider farm, it'll clear that one and turn that one on. Or it'll just turn that one on so let's say turn that back to the old base there if you go to the spider farm it'll only turn that one on I did it I got it working guys and I am so happy unfortunately um, I think I need to uh, I gotta add it here <laughs> I gotta do it back at the other base I'll show you the wiring real quick and then I guess I'll get to working on that fun and I, and I know right so much fun so the wiring was a whole lot more than I anticipated um, <laughs> the track used to go through here so what I'm gonna have to do is I will um, let's see I'll move this over one so this track will be here and then it'll swing out four more blocks this way yeah it'll go four more blocks in deeper so I'll have to do that digging out, and then I'll have to install the panels. But let's get into the redstone, shall we? Oh boy, is it messy. All right, so here's your middle connector. It has the dispenser thing here. Both that one and this one go to the dispenser. It, of course, dispenses an item onto the pressure plate, and the pressure plate puts out power. Um, this is just a lineup going to your first lamp that would be behind that block right there. And this other one would go to the rail to power it. Okay, this is just the old line from what it, the old setup, and this powers the original lamp here. That's the new one. This is the original one. So this this is nothing new, but I definitely had to move it around to make it work. Um, this wire here goes down, and I can actually show you this. I think. Well, um, yeah. Okay, so this goes here and powers this, as you can see. Let's just fill this up while we're here because you know why would I uh, want that to have wrapped empty I, I never want to work on this again <laughs> so this goes here and it powers your mine cart and it goes back and forth and gets the item off of there if there is one there let's get back out of here and then finally this third one on the right here if I can get to it right here it also powers this dispenser and it also sends a line out this is also an old line that will go and it will dispense a block. The other old line would be from this one, and it would go pick up the block. Basically the same dispenser system that we have installed right here, except underground over on the original um, machine that I had made. Um, the tricky part was, one, being able to run all these separate wires out. Um, you know, I got three wires here and then two leading to the thing. So that's five in total in this little three um, uh, what five by two area so it was a very tight fit um, the way I pulled it off is these two are connected 
but this line here is 15 blocks away from this so when this button is powered the power signal is too weak to reach it but when this one's powered it hits the repeater just with just enough power to repeat it and the same goes for this one it's uh, 15 blocks away from this button that line out is and um, when this button powers it you know the power will go and wrap around but it won't be powerful enough to reach the repeater hope all that made sense um, it was quite the little project here and unfortunately I have to go and repeat all of this to uh, at the other locations so I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that I guess um, I'll cut back in when I have that completed alright guys I have finished the railway and before I show it to you I just wanted to show you the progress that I've made on the sugarcane farm in the process of uh, of the working on the railway it's currently 5 a.m. I've been working on this for like three more hours tonight. This is easily the longest I have ever put into a single episode. <laughs> this it's been hours of redstone, and uh, we we don't have much redstone left. We probably have a stack and a half of blocks, which is quite a bit of redstone, but still not a lot left. I expanded the pumpkin farm just a tiny bit here, so that we could uh, finish that up quicker, maybe. But let's just go ahead and take a look at this finished product. So while we do this, I am going to talk a little bit um, about my channel. Um, let's just start off by going home. Okay. That's a shame. Ah. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, well I needed to talk about the channel anyways while I work on this. So, as you all know... Okay, this should technically just go right to here, shouldn't it? Let's try this again. As you all know, I have a Discord. Um, a link to it will be down below. Oh, let's just clear that for that good interesting alright if any of you have any clue at all as to why it didn't set off the dispenser the first time when I touched that please let me know in the comments below because I don't have the slightest of clues so I uh, stopped the video and reviewed the footage and I have no explanation as to uh as to why that happened. <laughs> so I'm just going to scratch that one up as a loss because sometimes you win some and sometimes you lose some and uh you know that's just how the cookie crumbles. Did I lose the minecart? That's going to be a yes. Oh man, I didn't even patch this up yet, and I don't have any stone. Alright, let's just go get a minecart, and I guess we'll <laughs> patch this baby up too. I thought I was completely done, but apparently it could use some cosmetic work. And I needed to talk anyways. So as you all know, for the uh, hundred of you that made it to this point in the video and care enough at this point, um, ew, cobble? Are you kidding me, Tanner? We're patching that up too. Um... As you all know, I have a Discord. Link will be below if you care to join. I feel like I've pushed it enough at this point. But um, in that Discord, um, it's pretty much you know what my channel revolves around. Any any uh, behind the scenes stuff will go down in the Discord. Let's just take a stack of that. And uh, one thing about the Discord is uh, Purple Viking. He's been an admin for it. Oh, this is a slime chunk, huh? Let me just kill this guy, because you can never have too many slime balls. And with looting, we should get quite a few here. Oh, sweeping edge, how about it? Yes, look at that. 20, that's pretty good. Um, 
as I was saying, Purple Viking, you all know who Purple is. He's been an admin for years, and uh, he decided to step down as admin. No huge deal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know where this is going. Stop it. <laughs> um, we want to go to the village right now. Is this going to go to the village? If the light is on, you're going to spider farm. We want to go to village. Oh, I thought it was broke completely. Um, oh yeah, there is the connector there, by the way. Um, that, this only has one possible, or two possible destinations right now, so, uh, that's why there's only two of them. You could technically set it up so this would take you to the house, but we already have this rail that just goes directly to the house, so it wouldn't make much sense to do that, so that's why there's only two. But as I was saying, Purple stepped down, and I mean, that's okay. I promoted Squidward to admin, if you all know who Squidward is. Probably don't, but uh, he's been a mod for a while, and I've known him for about a year now, maybe a year and a half. I trust him as admin. You know, it's, uh, I would prefer if Purple as admin, uh, obviously, uh, trusted and uh, experienced, but, you know, you can't you can't force these people to decide that stuff. The light is off. You're going to old base. Go to home. Okay. Yeah, this should take us home. It did. <laughs> Just gotta make sure. <laughs> so the only problem is, technically, um, <laughs> we want that to go away, but that's uh, still gonna be on. That's fine. That's, uh, this this isn't meant to be used like back to back to back to back. Obviously, the idea is that if you're going to a destination, you're going to stay there for at least five minutes so that the uh, item will despawn in the dispenser. That's just by design, so I can't necessarily control that. We could technically take this rail here to the old base and then go to the spider farm and then maybe back to the village or back to the old yeah we'll go spider farm and then village and that should yeah I kind of want to do the old one though I'll, I'll manually manually reset it and I can show you from the house to a destination but yeah and purple also told me that he doesn't want to be oh, look at this cobble it's just absolutely disgusting dude like the whole point of this is I left the ores so it looks natural, and then I have cobble through here. And then, like, this part here is dark, so we need a torch here. And I know it sucks, but... Move this up one. There. It, it, there we go. A whole lot better, isn't it? I think so. But as I was saying, Purple told me that he doesn't want to be in Tornado Wars 5 either, which is a major blow... So right now, it appears that in order to make Tornado Wars 5 happen, the teams are going to have to consist of me owning one team, um, Nate being the owner of another team, and potentially Garfield if he decides he wants to do it. He's mentioned may perhaps doing it. I don't know if he's actually serious or not. I guess only time will tell on that stuff. So that's what Tornado Wars 5 is looking at, is me, Garfield, and Nate. I don't think Cookie or Shoot would consistently do Tornado Wars. Especially Shoot doesn't have a reason. Uh, um, going to Spider Farm. Alright, that's where we want to go. I trust that it will take me there. Oh, no, it won't because the uh, the other one's not despawned. Quap. That's fine. Um, this would ideally take me to Spider Farm if this wasn't... Uh, oh, it did reset. Good. Oh, we unloaded it, and that caused it to despawn. Oh, that's actually a self-fix, isn't it? So we can actually go to house, and I'll take you to the village from the house. Trust me, this will work. <laughs> As you can see, though, this is this is completely working now, by the way. Oh, darn it. you got to be kidding me. Another one. <laughs> Another one here, too. Come back. Holy cow. How many are here? There. <laughs> so, yeah, that's this is basically just a little channel update spew that I'm doing here. So that's how it's looking for Tornado Wars 5. Um, yeah, Purple stepped down as admin. Squidward's been promoted to admin. And uh, yeah, Tornado Wars 5 is now me, Nate, and potentially Garfield. Um, 
I think that's it regarding those things. Next up I wanted to talk about was this series. Um, there was a lot of concern for you all because I said that this would be the last season of Tornado Survival. But the whole point of that, to me, was that um, that I was just going to build in this world. So like, I plan on doing hundreds of episodes of this season. It's just I don't want to make a new season, right? I think what made season 5 the best was everyone got attached to it after 50 freaking episodes. And uh, I don't know why that torch was there. And uh, that's what made it so good. And I feel like starting a new season just kind of kills it. So, <laughs> what I'm thinking here is uh, this season will just become the predominant season. And we'll just do this until I decide I'm no longer doing Tornado Survival. Oh, that didn't unload it, though. That's fine. We can fix that. Oh, we're going to the village. <laughs> Let's just... Uh... This isn't going to clear it, is it? Uh, we can just tell this to go to the village and then that'll clear it. I could install clearing things and if you know if I get ambitious one day I might do it so there's nothing at all that causes this but I mean come on guys you know I'm not going to be going to uh, one of these places and uh, let's just clear all of it. You know I'm not going to be going to one of these places for five minutes and then uh, doing that. And then you know I'm not going to go from the house to the old base using this track because that, that just doesn't even make sense, right? That would just be a long way around. So that's what. So yeah, I do have plans for this. Like I plan on building an Enderman farm. I'm thinking about doing a Guardian farm, maybe. Like this is all right. So I I only play Minecraft. I've showed this time played several times now. Three point nine days. That's a lot of hours that I've recently put on. This has basically become. Where did we decide we wanted to go? Um, when the light is on, you're going to the village. Let's make it activate and go to the village. Yeah, it works. It works. It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, that's actually a problem, isn't it? Um, I just discovered a new bug, which I will fix off camera. But when the uh in order to go to the village uh this line right here has to be powered. Now when I hit go to the village here, does it power it? Because it's gonna save me a whole lot of time if it does go to the village. Uh oh. So I looked into it and I couldn't figure anything out. So uh, we're just going to call this project 90% done. And that'll be the episode because <laughs> I've got to get this thing out. Um, before I do go, though, it, since it had been a few days, I actually did a live stream. No, oh, sweet Jesus, it's nighttime. Please don't blow up. I finished the uh, sugarcane farm. Yay. <laughs> Look at it. Why are there dark spots? Who knows? Anyways, look how beautiful this thing is. It's uh, completely done. Got like a half stack of emeralds whenever I trade with the villagers after harvesting. It almost fills up my inventory, but not all the way. There's a few empty spots. Wow, it's a lot of ow. No, that one. Dang it. Okay, let's just run. <laughs> But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. I'm going to try to get these out more frequently. But when the projects take as long as they do, like this most recent one, it's hard to do. But uh, yeah, that'll do it. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all. Wow, he's fast. In the next one. Bye.